Hey Power Rappers, this is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to automate code reviews with the Power Apps code review tool. So stay tuned. Welcome back. One of my favorite tools in the, in the pack pocket from the CAT team at Power Apps is the Power Apps code review tool. This is going to enable you to scan all the apps or a single app inside of your environment, upload additional apps, and scan them for common coding mistakes you might find in Power Apps. You can then mark it as you know, pass, fail, or uh, give a score of the, that app. This is what most of our customers are finding really, really useful as they migrate from dev to QA to prod. So let's take a look at it. First of all, you're going to find the link that I have up right now in the, in the description of this video. This is the, from the CAT team, the customer advisory team at, uh, at Microsoft for Power Apps. They built this for us. And it is the Power Apps code review tool. To download it, you simply go over here and, and download either the uh, managed or unmanaged version of this code. So just select, select it and then hit the, uh, hit the download button right there. Once you download it, it's on GitHub, of course. Uh, once you download that, then you'll want to go ahead and install it. But before you install it, there's one more piece you're going to want to do. And that's to go to the Admin Center, go to the environment that you're installing it into. So I'll go to my environment. I'll just pick a random environment in this case. All right, just pick a, a random one here. Go to Settings. I'm waiting for it to come up. Oh, this is actually a trial environment, so I cannot do that. Let me go back over here again to one of these guys right here. Then go to Settings. Now, once I go to Settings, go to Product and Features. And there's one piece you want to make sure that you've turned on because they're using it inside this application. And that is the Power Apps Component Framework for Canvas application. You'll turn it on at the environment level, and then you're ready to go ahead and import the application. Now, what you downloaded a moment ago from GitHub is uh, a, a solution file. So you need to make sure Dataverse is actually turned on in the environment you're installing it into. Once you do that, let me go back here, just go to Solutions, go to Import, and then you'll point to that zip file that you just, you just downloaded. Now, once we have that installed, it will take about five minutes, six minutes to install. Once you have that installed, you should be able to go over here to the Power Apps Review Solution. And we need to go ahead and find out the apps that are here. So let's go back over to Apps here. And there's two apps we really care about right now. One is the admin tool where we set up the policies for our company that we want to check for. The other one is the actual review tool. So let's actually look at the admin tool first. Of course, you'll find this at make.powerapps.com. Once you install it, you don't have to go to the solution, but I'm doing it here just for giggles here. Now, you'll see I have, I've already scanned two applications in my case. And then we can go to patterns and find out the different patterns and how we rate each pattern. Is it a low, medium, or high kind of issue? You decide how important each of these issues are to your company. Is it a pass or fail? For the most part, the defaults I, I love. I, don't, I wouldn't change a thing for the most part. There might be some things for some companies where accessibility is a bigger issue, so you might flag those as, as medium to high, but again, that's up to you at your organization. Now, once you've done that, this is where the fun start fun, fun stuff starts. I'm going to go over to my app here. I'm just going to refresh this real quick. And you'll see I have two applications inside of here. Now, we can always add another application by pointing to any app in our environment. So you might decide to put this into every environment, or you can upload your app file right here. If I want to go ahead and try this in my environment, I can go ahead and select an app like this, uh, this fire department one, for example. Oh, didn't mean to actually play that. There we go. I can select it, then give it a name for my scan, for my review. Specify what customer I'm using. So in some cases, it might be great for a consulting company or a contracting company that does have multiple customers. You, of course, can add those customers right here. Now, this is a free application that Microsoft gives you. So there'll be some quirks sometimes, uh, and it is open source. So they're adding more all the time. Just note that if you find something, you can also go and fix it or, or, or propose to fix it in the GitHub repository. And they give you the unmanaged code if you want to actually make improvements to it yourself for your own company. So you'll notice it's processing one, but let me go into the one I did earlier, this, this uh, wellness check here. 
All right, so you can see in my case, I've scored 83% in my case. Now, this is based on what my pass and fail ratios are I did earlier. So if I look at something, it says, okay, I have a use of concurrent functions. This is when you have a long chain of events, of commands, but you want them to run serially versus concurrently. If you want them to run concurrently, then you can actually look at this, see why is it making decisions and making. So it's, it's just you saying you may want to consider some parallelism on this piece of code here. And you can also add your own notes. You can view the details of it to find out where is it actually at, the why of, of why it's making decision. And if you want to pass it, you can actually say, you know what, I need this to happen serially. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this event or I'm gonna make it an NA or whatever. So as you scroll down, you'll get other recommendations like these. And then you also get things like the app checker rolled up for you also. So you can find out what the app checker is complaining about as well without even having to open up the application. So you can see I have some accessibility issues in my application. I can also go over here and look at the overview of how my app is configured. What do I have inside of it? You can see I'm not using a camera control or a microphone control. I have a, one I have a few galleries here, looks like, one gallery. And I have a level, level of different screens here you can see as well. So you can see everything that's configured, every, every setting that's been tweaked right inside this one screen right here. We can also go through and actually expose the code. So if you are a more advanced user, you can go and look at the code here, select, the, select each of the items right here, and you actually can read the code and where it came from, which control it's on, and this is a tool tip in this case. So it gives you a lot of intel about these applications. And then lastly, my favorite screen, is why did it make the decisions it made? So at the rolled up level, we can see I have two medium issues, which gave me a, a 15 of 18% uh, 15 of 18 uh, per, uh, items that have been passed. Have a few low ones that are accessibility ones based on the configuration of how I did the admin screen. And I can go through and uh, uh, get deeper into it in those other screens also. So again, this application is free. It's available to you on, the, uh, uh, on that GitHub site along with other applications that are really handy also, like the Center of Excellence Toolkit as well. So hope you enjoyed this video. You'll find more about this on our website. This is one of the things we cover in our admin of the day class at pragmaticworks.com. You can find more about that on our website. We also do hackathons and workshops where we help you kind of learn power apps and how to em employ it inside of your organization. Thanks for watching this video and please do subscribe if you wanna find out more videos like this in the future. Have a great day.